Labour Party breaks silence on alleged Atiku and Obi alliance. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The Special Advisor to Peter Obi on Technology and Strategic Alliances and a 2021 Anambra governorship candidate, Valentine Ozigbo, has reported that key officials of the Labour Party's Presidential Campaign Council are planning to align with the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, in the upcoming presidential election. He said the reports that party leaders met on Monday at a top hotel in Abuja to discuss moves aimed at aligning with Atiku is false news. Ozigbo said the story is aimed at derailing the massive momentum of obedience across Nigeria and worldwide. Who are rooting for a Peter Obi presidency. The claims reported on a faceless online medium are completely false and without any basis. The Labour Party is fully committed to supporting its presidential candidate, His Excellency Peter Obi, and his vision for leading Nigeria out of his current travails, Ozigo said. We firmly believe that Peter Obi is the best candidate for the presidency with a track record of solid leadership and a clear path addressing the significant challenges facing our country. Mr. Obi has consistently demonstrated a deep understanding of the needs of the Nigerian people and has the experience and expertise and needed to about implement effective policies. It's disappointing that some elements within the PDP are spreading false rumors and engaging in underhanded tactics rather than focusing on a fair and open contest of ideas. This unprofessional conduct indicates their fear of fair competition and lack of confidence in their own candidates' abilities, the multiple award-winning global CEO said. On the likelihood of any candidate stepping down for the other, Ozigbo maintains that while he will not wish to join issues with either the Atiku or Tinumbu campaigns, who are gleefully circulating the false wood, he would also not disrupt the current Big bats between the APC and PDP over allegations and counter allegations of corruption between them. Ozigbo said he believes that for Nigerians to have a clean break from its ugly past, those alleged to be culpable in undermining Nigeria's progress and the prosperity of our country may consider it needful to step aside for Peter Obi in the best interests of Nigeria's future. In a civilized setting and given the towering credentials and acceptability of Peter Obi, the wise thing for Atiku and Tinubu to do would have been to allow Peter Obi to go on a post by honorably ste stepping down. But if they insist on continuing, they should be ready to accept their fate at the post, Ozigbo added. For the avoidance of doubt, Obi remains the frontrunner in this 2023 race. His two main rivals continue to trail him in the pre-election With polls. all major demographic across He's winning. Nigeria in every single poll conducted, even those commissioned by APC and PDP. Peter Obi is an NGMA, a truly inspirational leader who has the backing of the Nigerian youth and all Nigerians who love our country and wish for the best. We will not be distracted by fake news and will continue to work tirelessly to promote Peter Obi's candidacy and his plans for a better Nigeria. We call on all supporters of the Labour Party and all Nigerians to remain steadfast in this effort and reject the PDP's efforts to subvert the democratic, democratic process and derail our path to the presidency, Ozigo ended. So let's take some of the comments. There are three major presidential contestants. Tinumbu tells Atiku is a thief. Atiku tells Tinumbu is to eat to eat to is a drug baron. Only Peter Obi is stainless. Now, now tells why Peter Obi should be considering merger with any of them to stain his pure white garment. Okay, another said, I'm not against Atiku collapsing his structures for Obi. It is a welcome development. Another said, God forbid the alliance in Jesus' name. Amen. Light and darkness cannot mingle together. Another said, whether Una align with Atiku or not, presidency must rotate to the south come 2023. If Una be people like Una self, stay on your own and win the presidential election. Simple advice. Another commenter said, Nigerians and youth are obedient already for a new Nigeria is loading. That news is not true. 
and that's said they don't see anything else to use old obina these rubbish people another said yeah yeah the smell obidati 2023 loading another said no lp no pvc obidati our choice another said what concerns darkness and light when there is light darkness disappears obidati is the light for a new nigeria nigerians will not fill an old bottle with a new wine obidati is a new one in a new bottle a new nigeria is possible another person said we the obedient members are standing strong and won't be derailed by any rumor going on we are ready to witness the outcome of the february 25th presidential poll another one said the alliance can work partly only if article will collapse his party to labor party and recognize obi as the current president of nigeria come 25th of february another person commented obi is not the solution to nigeria's madness or problem to me, Obi is trying to replicate what Buhari has done by lying and is deceitful to the country. Those are in Labour Party. They are not former PDP. Those who are in Labour Party, are they not former PDP members? Is Doyo Kukwe an angel or Oshuntoku? What about that man from Edo? I've forgotten his name. Is he an angel too? No. They are all evil. Don't forget Buhari in 2015 when before he won today is story till today so obi is not a solution at all at all another person said the reality of this news is going to shock everyone soon another person said for obidati and the obedience movement to accept a another merger, person said there is going to be the first wash the what exactly are you their bodies to be accepted to create a new nigeria of our dreams another person said let them continue carrying fake rumor all I know is that I will continue being useful and obedient, period. Another said, How on earth did you people believe that a party that doesn't have a single councillor in any local government or any state in Nigeria can win presidential elections? Don't deceive yourselves. Go and articulate before it is too late. The election is around the corner. Less than a month. Impossibility can never be possible. Hmm. Somebody else said, That is what article is known for. Fallacies. Fabricating false vote is not only bad, but also very detrimental to peaceful coexistence to govern Nigeria. Another said, APC, PDP, completely dead and buried forever. Another said, Valentine, Ozigbo, plus Peter Obi combined together, lost to only Charles Soludo in Obi's home state. And that is a proof of Obi's weak political structure based in the state. How then can such a man win a way match against Atiku Abubakar? I advise Obi in his own interest to step down for two ministerial slots to oil his future presidential ambition. Another person said, There's nothing bad in merging with PDP as long as Atiku Abubakar will step down for Peter Obi, so no issues about that. Another person said, We need Obi and Dati as the president of the country. No retreat, no surrender. So these are the comments that trailed. What's your comments? Please drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. For new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. To existing subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. We pray that Nigeria would take on the role of the giant again. See you in the next news. Bye for now.